Does the WHO remain the body through which China is coordinating its worldwide efforts with other countries? Absolutely. They were very active, for example, during the science and R&D funders meeting that took place about three weeks ago under Dr. Tedros and Dr. Sumia, the chief scientist. It has a joint WHO China mission, which is based in China itself, reporting with Geneva. And when it goes through Geneva, the World Health Organization is not only to the organization itself, it goes to all 190 plus member states. It's not only working with the WHO as a technical and humanitarian agency, but with all its member states under that umbrella. You are a goodwill ambassador for the WHO. Uh, they have been in Wuhan. What is their assessment right now? Uh, there's been very strong words of support for it, that the government moved when it did move very quickly and then took actions, as Ina said just then, uh, may have come across as very tough for others. But at the end of the day, it was successful and it appears to be getting successful in containing the outbreak and in so doing, delaying the spillover of the outbreak outside of its own borders into the rest of the world, giving the world an opportunity uh, to get prepared. How prepared is China for this outbreak, which, you know, as we are hearing, could, could go well into this year? What's going to be key is to work with partners like WHO, but also with uh, very sophisticated USCDC, for example, over in Atlanta, to understand further the epidemiology. Until they do that, it's very hard to fully establish, for example, uh, the existing therapies that could be innovated to treat and save lives right now, but on top of that, to create a vaccine. Now, the vaccine you said could be many months away, it could be years away, it might never actually happen. But I think what's really important now is that you really seize this narrowing window of opportunity, as Dr. Tedros has said, and get prepared now. It's never quite too late, but that time gap keeps narrowing as each day goes by. The China Current continues its special coverage on the coronavirus outbreak. Go to our social media, at The China Current, and our website for interviews, videos, and podcasts. I'm James Chow. Thank you.